Hello, I'm Simon Bott. I'm a consultant urologist in the southeast of England. When I started doing prostate biopsies 15 years ago, I was struck by two things that were wrong with the biopsy from how I saw it. First of all, we did a truss biopsy where we had no target to hit, and also there's a high rate of sepsis, about 5%. That's why I was one of the first with colleagues to describe a template prostate biopsy where we saturated the whole prostate with multiple biopsies. We did find all the cancers that need to be found, but we also found a large number of cancers that didn't need to be found. We also subjected patients to a general anaesthetic as we were taking 60 to 80 biopsies commonly. With the advent of MRI, things changed. We could now see the lesion we needed to target. But we had the problem we couldn't do a biopsy in an MRI scanner, at least not easily. That's when fusion biopsies came along. Here, we take the MRI scan, we outline the prostate on the MRI, and we outline the abnormal area. We then take an ultrasound scan and create a 3D model of the prostate on ultrasound. And then using elastic fusion, we merge the MRI picture with the ultrasound picture so we can see the targeted area from the MRI using ultrasound. I think fusion biopsy is much more accurate and therefore we can take fewer biopsies. This means it's easier for the patient to undergo and we can do this procedure under local anaesthetic. If you do this procedure under local anaesthetic, it has to be patient friendly. It has to be the patient is not in too much discomfort. This means that I prefer to do this technique on the left lateral position rather than in the lithotomy position. Patients lie like they did for the truss biopsy and have a biopsy taken without the indignation of having their legs up in the air and a transrectal probe placed in the rectum. In order to make it more comfortable under local anaesthetic, I use a coaxial needle to make a single puncture into the area around the prostate. This can be infiltrated with local anaesthetic and then the needle can be targeted to different directions using the same needle so that the skin is not punctured multiple times. This makes the whole procedure much more comfortable for the patient. The other advantage of a local anaesthetic is patients don't have to be prepared for an operation and therefore all the patients I biopsy today have actually been seen in clinic this week and biopsied this week. This speeds along the process of the diagnostic pathway, which is obviously good for patients, but also helps me meet my cancer targets. So the advantage of the Coelis kit is that we can take as many or as few biopsies as is required to in order to establish a management plan for our patient. So in an older man, I might just target the lesion and not need to target anywhere else as the patient's gonna have whole gland treatment with perhaps radiotherapy. In a younger patient, who might be a more suitable candidate for either surgery or brachytherapy, where more detailed planning is required, then I then take biopsies, not only of the target, but also a sample. Clearly, the number you take in your sample depends on the prostate size, but you can target the area around the neurovascular bundle in a potential surgical candidate, or around the urethra in a potential brachytherapy candidate, or both. We found in our MDT that we're not only hitting the target with a much greater frequency, but also we're taking fewer biopsy cores in general. I have done over 150 fusion template prostate biopsies. Not a single patient has been readmitted to hospital as a result of sepsis. Patient reported outcomes on pain are also strongly favorable. It does rely on a good team around you, so it's good to have somebody talking to the patient at the top end and a nurse assisting you while you do it. But with a good team around you, the procedure can be relatively pain-free and actually well tolerated by the patient.